have 60 minutes to escape. Now, an hour can sometimes feel like a lifetime, but when you're against the clock to crack codes and unlock doors, time certainly flies. Escape rooms have become a phenomenon in the last five years, housing hen parties, bored families and colleagues wanting to brush up on their teamwork skills. We meet the creative minds who specialise in fun ways to trap people. Hello and welcome to Out of the Office episode one. It's our first time and thank you for joining us. Um, in today's episode we have someone called Angela. Um, so if you'd like to say hello Angela. Hello, hi everyone. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? So, welcome to Pirate Escape everyone. So for those of you who've never heard of escape rooms before, we actually is a family owned and run an escape room. It's a great fun activity to do with any age group. Just before we start, I would say it's lovely talking to you because um, here's, here's some little out of the office trivia for everyone for our first episode. Um, Pirate Escapes was actually my first ever job. Um, so it's, it's lovely seeing you again. It's been what, like, maybe four or five years now? For a while. We've got more games now. It's getting bigger every day. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to hear about it. So our first question is, because you kind of touched on how it's a family business, but I want to know how did you kind of decide to set up an escape rooms and what landed you in the role that you have? Very interesting. So this is, I'll try and make it short because it's rather a long story. <laughs> so um, my husband and I have three sons all grown up now. Um, we had some family come and stay from Australia a few years ago and the sons were about the same age as ours, looking for something to do and came across an escape room in Newcastle. So they all went off, played it, had a great time, came back absolutely full of this game, how amazing it was, till eventually they came up with the idea, you know, maybe we could actually do this. So uh, me and my husband said, right, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Go away, come up with a business plan. So that's exactly what they did. And um, none of us had any experience in the business before. So um, it was a big, big learning curve. So our next question is, what is the most popular type of room? And obviously your guys' name is Pirate Escapes. Um, could you touch on a bit more about the themes you have going on? So um, the theme came about really because of the position of the building. So um, we're based in Whitley Bay, so next to the sea. My sons will kill me for saying this, but uh, growing up, they absolutely loved pirates. Every party had to be pirate themed. So uh, we thought, well, you know, if we love that so much, other people will love it as well. So we've stuck with that theme, and it's amazing where that theme has taken us. So all our games are sort of related to pirates. However, our newest game that we've just finished and we're really excited because no one has played it yet until we reopen. We've built Space Pirates. Oh my, an out of the office exclusive, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's the biggest game we've built yet. Very electronic, but it looks amazing. We can't wait for someone to try it. Exciting stuff. Um, so this is maybe this is a bit of a cheeky question, but I want to know: Do you purposefully make it difficult for some groups to escape? No. Yeah, well, the games aren't easy, <laughs> as you know. Um, and every time we build one, we seem to build it a little bit harder. Um, but what we do, we can actually make it a little bit easier in the respect we can give a few more hints or clues a little bit more interaction along the way uh jolly them along a bit or oh, you're doing amazing just have a look in here and you might find something so that kind of thing but but games are hard i'll not pretend they're not <laughs> yeah we're now going to move on to some user questions. So these are some of the questions that some of our viewers have submitted. Um, so we've got two of them for you. So this is from Charlotte and she wants to know, do people have breakdowns when they can't get out? We do get people getting uh, a bit uh, excited and a bit stressed and yeah. a bit running around the room aimlessly at that point, <laughs> panicking 
when we're calmed down. Mm -hmm. We do have that occasionally. Try and keep people calm because if they get too excited and worked up about it, they can't see the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's part of our job to just steer them in the right direction. Our next question comes from Scott and he wants to know who is the group who had the quickest time and what uh, was that time? Well, I was waiting for that question. So we have two girls that have supported us from the beginning. Mm -hmm. They're actually YouTubers and they go around the country playing games like this. They have smashed every time in our games yeah. except one. Okay, well, Angela, I just have one more question for you before we say our goodbyes. And uh, here out of the office, I like to put our interviewees kind of on the spot a bit. And um, I'm aware that you guys were my first ever job. But I, I'm, the question we're getting to here is, uh, will you hire me? Oh, any day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one any out of day. one, we got it. <laughs> any time. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Um, it's been lovely catching up with you. And yeah, yeah I feel like although I, I was there, I've learned so much more about the world of escape rooms and, and working in one and, and creating one. So thank you very much for joining us. You're more than welcome. And I hope I'll see your team back soon. <laughs> we'll, come, we'll come play the Space Pirates. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Well, thank you for joining us for the first ever episode of Out of the Office. If you feel like you want to, uh, it would be great if you could leave a like. And if you want to submit a question or yourself for a future episode, our comments are open. Down there, the subscribe button is really close by, so you may as well click. You can find us on our social medias. We are Out of the Office Productions on pretty much everything. Uh, we have a podcast. We are going to have a podcast. So any episode that was on screen on video on the YouTube channel will be turned into a podcast episode as well if you'd like to hear an extended version of the interview but uh, I think that's everything.